Zion Church, the oldest church in Jakarta. A building which holding over three centuries history, and its unique architecture which has different design from another churches. What is the relation between the church and government at that time? Why this church was built? And who is the person behind the manufacture? All will be reviewed in this documentary. The Zion Church In 1596, the Dutch colonial arrive in Batavia. Under the command of Cornelis de Houtman, they occupied several islands in Indonesia. In 1675, a small cottage was built in Panjaran Jakarta Street for a religious purpose. A bell was built beside the cottage to call people for attending a catechumus lesson. In 1695, the Sion Church was built to replace the small cottage where the Portuguese captives from Sri Lanka were using to pray. They are a big group, which is also called Black Portuguese. Many of them hold a Portuguese title, even though Portuguese bloods didn't flow in their blood. This church was approved by Peter Van Horn. Under the command of Joan Van Horn who were the president of church, and designed by Eve Verhagen, from Rotterdam. The church was formerly known as the New Portuguese Bu Itamkuk, or the New Portuguese Outer Church, referring to its position on the outside of the city wall. After the independence of Indonesia, the Dutch government transferred the ownership of the church to the Protestant Churches of Western Indonesia Body, or GPIB. During the 1957 GPIB Synod Conference, the Portuguese Church changed its name into GPIB Congregation of Zion. And since then, the Church is known as Zion Church. The Church's land was donated by Carol Reniers and his wife. He was a Governor General at that time. A headstone was built on the wall to commemorate Carol Reniers and his wife. Their Zion Church once had many ceremonial tools. Four plates made from silver was gifted by Governor General Cam Fuis, two of them are still stored in the Emmanuel Church Jakarta. At the end of 17th century, the Batavia wasn't a good place for living, many people died because of horrible environment, and the outbreaks of diseases were spread all over the town. In the 1790, there were 2,381 people were buried around the Zion Church. 2,230 of them were the Compagnie soldier who's placed in Batavia. And the number of poor people and slaves' death were countless. At the side of the church, the ornate bronze tombstone of Governor General Hendrik Swadekroon who died in 1728 was buried. Hendrik Swadekroon was born in 26th of January 1667, and died in Batavia in 1728. He wished to be no buried among the ordinary people. In the 1943, their Zion church were threatened by Japanese soldier. The Japanese army wished to transform the place into a columbarium for the fallen soldiers. But the Japanese failed to took over the church. In 1953, poverty-stricken member of Zion Church, caused the church's synod almost sell this church, and replace the church as a factory. 
but Mohammed Yamin, who were a Minister of Education and Culture prevented that irresponsible action. This church measures 24 by 32 meters and is situated on 6,725 square meters of land. An extension was built on the back facade, measuring 6 by 18 meters. The Zion Church was built above a foundation of 10,000 logs. In the front of the church, the bell is used to call people for attending the church service. The bell has standing longer than the church. This solid unique wooden door is a heritage from the 17th century. In the inside of the church, there are six pillars which sustain the ceiling. Initially the six pillars were made from wood, but in the 1725, the pillars were strengthened and white painted. There is one attractive view in the inside of the church, a unique baroque style ebony pulpit is a creation of H. Buin. The pulpit is one of the church's original furniture. In the side of the pulpit, there are lined some large carved chairs which were made from 17th century. They were made special for the OC's official and governor general. There are also some unique chairs for the elders and priests. And in the center of the hall, there are about 280 wood chairs for the church members. Four lamps made from bronze were used for decorate the interior of the church. At the balcony, an old pipe organ is still used in the church service. The pipe organ was donated by the daughter of Reverend John Moritz Moore, at the 18th century. The pipe organ was operated by manpower. But electricity power is used to operate the pipe organ in the present time. The history of the Zion Church teach us to conserve heritages in Indonesia. All others historical building are worth to be conserved, and depends on the society to love and appreciate the historical buildings. Because historically significant buildings contribute to our city's cultural and economic well-being.